so when somebody overchanges you, uh, what should you do? Well, if you realize it, uh, then you should tell them and you should give them the money back. And I'm going to argue that that's actually in your self-interest. Now, a lot of people only think about short-term self-interest and they think, oh, hey, I got money, I, I won, I got something for free. But there's several problems with that. Uh, one is that you're, it's, it's not just, it's not right on the, on the fundamental, just basics of it. Um, even on a selfish perspective, it's a bad idea because the other person may realize it and then they know that uh, you are part of cheating them. Now, they cheated themselves technically, you could say it's their fault, but it's really the fault of everybody in the transaction to, to, to if they fail to make it a good transaction for everybody. Uh, and if they do realize it, then they're going to hold it against you. Now, I was just buying some uh, dog food here in town, a big bag of dog food. And uh, the guy overchanged me by 100 pesos. So he gave me 30% uh, more than he should have or something. Anyway, more than he should have, 50%. A bunch more. Big mistake. Uh, normally, I don't catch it if somebody cheats me a little bit or if I get overchanged a little bit. But this one I figured out real quick that that was very wrong. And uh, so I said, hey, I think you overcharged me. And, and, I, I, and he thought about it and he gave him 100 pesos. And he was like, oh, thank you. And then... Um, and then uh, putting a bag in my car and everything, and, and, and I said, thank you, and he said, thank you. And the thing is that, that what this does, is it sets up a positive relationship where he can trust me uh, because he knows that I'm not just trying to take. I'm on the side, uh, and I'm on both of our sides. I'm trying to make things good for everybody. And uh, that means something. Now, I have a relationship with the town and, and my reputation matters, and so that's in my own self-interest to have a good, honest relationship with everybody. But you might then ask, well, what if I'm just passing through, you know? What if it's somebody I don't know and don't care about, and, uh, and I cheat them, you know? Well, there's still a problem, because uh, you are representing your type of person, your demographic, if that matters to you. I don't like to get too wrapped up in that shit. But, uh, you know, let's say you're a foreigner, and you cheat somebody, then you just represented foreigners badly, and you're helping that person have a negative stereotype against foreigners. Now, of course, they shouldn't do that. We should not judge groups based on the, the activities of an individual, but it does happen. And even if it isn't that, even if you're not just uh, representing your group, or your family, or your nation, or your culture, or your gender, your age, whatever, you're still making the world a shittier place. If this person realizes that they've had a bad transaction, then they still feel like uh, they feel less trust for people. You've made a worse world, literally. So don't do it. Be honest, be good, be on everybody's side.